So now we've looked at the daily journal, we've looked at blocks and we've looked at pages and we're really getting into the meat of it. We're now going to talk about how you can create structure in your database with links. So LogSeq is just working on these text files and then also enables you to add assets like pictures, etc. But the real beauty comes with bidirectional linking to add structure. So I'm going to go through an example. I've been thinking a lot about what to get mom for her birthday. So um, let me even write that down. I've been thinking about what to get mom for her birthday. Now this is this is good, but what I can do is if I highlight that word there and I just go square bracket, square bracket, I'm able to link to that page. So if you think like Wikipedia, it's just links between pages. So now I can go to mom, I can click there and it's a bi-directional link, which means I can go back to that place that I've referenced before and i see here on the 29th of november i've been thinking about what to get mom for her birthday and i can go back there so it creates that bi-directional link i.e i can go either direction um, from that link other tools are able to do this but what logseek does very well is it brings information right to your fingertips so if i go to mom and i can actually see there there's a tooltip which shows um, what's in that page you can turn that off if you don't like it i usually turn it off but then here at the bottom, it shows all those linked references. And this becomes very powerful later on. Anyways, let me go back to my journal. And I can also, you know, just writing stream of consciousness. I thought about a nice recipe. thought about a nice chocolate cake recipe. Carrying on with the theme of birthdays. And here would be like two eggs, dark chocolate, flour, Lots of love. Great. So that's my chocolate cake recipe. One thing to note here, I haven't explained really well this indenting underneath a parent block, but I will get into that in a later video, just a sort of pin for later. Now, how am I gonna find this recipe later down the line? I could either create a page for it, or if I just add this as like a, a backlink, I can then go to recipe there and any time that I've entered a recipe, it will show me that reference. And I can also link different pages. So maybe I decide I'm going to make a chocolate cake recipe page. Let me do that where I go to the search page again. So if I go there and I say chocolate cake recipe, or let's call this a carrot cake recipe, just to add some variation here carrot cake recipe and then I say carrots, eggs, flour, baking powder and if I just use, if I just add another block which is recipe, I can then go to recipe and I see ha, huh, I've got two things that are linked to recipe now which is this carrot cake recipe or this entry in my journal and I can go to either one of them very quickly. Now this becomes very powerful for studying and writing and like, yeah, down the line, it, it really starts to show its, its worth. But let me go back to my journal and just continue writing like stream of consciousness. And I thought, okay, I need to discuss my mom's 50th birthday party with her. So discuss mom, discuss, let's call it 50th birthday party. And I just enter square brackets before, so I don't have to highlight the data. Birthday party with mom. Great, so there's another link to mom. And I also found this really great quote on the internet, which would be great to use for a card. So if I just go to this page over here, and I think my mom will really resonate with this one. I love cleaning up messes I didn't make, so I became a mom because I was terrible with that as a child. And there's a nice quote. And now I'm gonna add the, the link to quote. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add it with a hashtag. So I'm gonna say hashtag quote. Okay, why did I do that? A hashtag is the exact same thing as entering the square brackets. And it also creates a link to a page. And now I've created a page quote or maybe, maybe call it quotes. And then if I go there, I can see all the quotes that I have in my database. So maybe I have, you know, another 
quote from down the line. Let me, I'm just going to create a page for yesterday quickly. And if I go there and then I have another quote, let me grab one from here. This is another great picture and I'm actually going to just copy this image and then paste it here. And then I'm also going to add the quote. Great. So now I can go to quotes and I can see there these two different things. I would do this differently in, in, in practice. Once you like get used to it, you can evolve the way that you use it. But yeah, this is you know, a great way that I could then um, find quotes that I've entered later. I've just gone back to my journal to see some of the things that I like that I might want to think about with how I'm using backlinks. And you can see here that I can put them anywhere in the sentence or anywhere in the block. So here it's in the middle, here it's at the end. I can put more than one in a block. And I might actually do that here where I can say quotes and then uh, square brackets or hashtag mom. And what, I, what I'm showing now is more like a personal preference for me where when I use square brackets, I'll do it when the, the concept is inline. So what to get mom for her birthday is part of that same block. When I'm using um, hashtags, it's just like to remember that that is associated with something at the end. As I said, they both do exactly the same thing. It's just a, a personal style approach. And if I go to, if I scroll down if I go earlier here, I might also say quotes mom. Great. So now I've, I'm able to add more than one tag to a block and I can actually add quite a lot of, uh, of tags, which helps me find things later on. This really helps with the resurfacing of information. So I don't actually need to have this link here to yesterday. It created the journal page and I can then delete it. The journal page is still there. And this is the nice thing about the journal page is this infinite scrolling. As I said, like your canvas or your white paper or white piece of paper that you can just write everything on. Okay. Some things to note here. If you're coming from a program like Obsidian, Obsidian treats the brackets and the hashtags differently. The, the square brackets is a direct link, whereas the hashtag is treated as a tag. So just something to bear in mind, they treated the same in LogSeq. When I'm using the journal page, it's very important that I use backlinks and tag blocks. Otherwise I won't be able to find them later. There is a search functionality and you are able to find unlinked references, but it's very good practice to add some sort of link to every block that you are entering into your daily journal. This hello world one, let's actually just delete this guy so that you can see this is a way of adding structure and making sure that you're able to find the information that you put in later. It's key to be able to resurface information. This decision process of like what to tag things is also something that you'll figure out later. I'm going to speak a little bit in a later video about my, my approach, but this is something that you can figure out. There really is no right way, but it's just to help you find the information that you want to find later on. You need to have some sort of process or system so that you, things aren't falling through the cracks. So this has been a pretty basic introduction to links. And in the next video, we're going to look at some more complex ones, if you can call them that, which is your task management ones. And we're also going to look at how you might set these up for easier retrieval. So I'll see you along for the next one, if that's of interest to you.